Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break of 2020 Panini Prism Draft Picks football. Uh, this is random team break number eight. Remember, this is the one with all the collegiate teams right here. One spot gets you three, so thanks to all of these folks here. Let's triple you up. And there are all the universities right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a three, six the hard way. After six, Eric J down to Eric J. Three and three, six times for the teams. Six. Kentucky Wildcats down to the Ohio Bobcats. There's Ohio Bobcats? Anyway, not going to read off all these. Got to preserve the voice here. Uh, but there are your names as is. And I'll uh, alphabetize by your first names in just a second. Ohio Bobcats. And then there's Cincinnati Bearcats? A lot going on there in Ohio. Let's alphabetize by column A. Dan, there are your teams right there. Darren, there are your teams. Eric, that team down to that team, everything in between. There's Jason's teams, Jeremy's teams. Karen, Kenneth, Kenton, Mark, Mike. Mike Costello, Nathan, Scott, and Will. So I'm going to pause the video really quick and allow uh, a little time for some trades. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trade, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. No trades. So I got I realphabetized by the uh, university name right here. And that's when everyone has. And there are the rest of the teams right here. I'll leave that paperwork right over here. All right, and these are the last. This is the last four boxes of the uh, of the case that we popped open. I think we do have more. Is the next one up? Next one's not up yet, but I'm sure it will be at some point. Let's move some of that NT though, in the meantime. Deshaun Watson to 299. And we've got Justin Man Mandu Biuke. Mandu Biuke. I think I got that. Texas A&M. That's on this side. That will be for Mike Cody. Yeah, Mark is, Mark is a fan of this 2020 draft class. I want all of these autos that I put. I want all of these guys to go in the first round. I know they can't, but I want them to. Zeke Elliott to 99. Bryce Hall to 249. James Morgan. For no team. They didn't get the license for this team. Where does it's James Morgan? Florida International. That'll go to Jason, Jason G with James Morgan.
Hey Rex, what's going on? DJ Shark to 149. Hunter Bryant. Washington Huskies. That's for Mike Costello. To 199. AJ Brown to 249. Eno Benjamin to 299. And Isaiah Higdon is your autograph. That's Oregon State. Uh, oh, it's up there. Kenton. With the beeves. <laughs> Beavers. We got Jeff Akuda. And we've got Jalen Ragor. A Texas. A, uh, a, a horned frog. A TCU horned frog. Texas Christian University. Oh man, Rex, you did the you did the thing that I tell people not to do. And I hope you learned your lesson this time. Rex was like, I saw it posted, I saw the prime cuts posted earlier, and I thought, I'll just grab a team after I take my little nap. Woke up from the nap, all gone. That's why I tell everybody, if you see your team, go and get it. Before it's gone. But glad, glad the uh, glad the kids feeling well though. Hopefully the fever gets lower. Mark Masson thinks that uh, Ragor, Jalen Ragor, may be the best receiver in the draft. Is this a good? Uh, I've got a feeling that this might be a good draft class because I feel like we haven't quite had a lot of wide receivers to really seriously collect. Is this the year? When's the last time we had a wide receiver that we could really seriously collect? Odell Beckham Jr. maybe in 2014? I mean, like, A.J. Brown I like. You know, there are some guys that, 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 that we like that sell okay. But there, it's been a while since there's been a receiver that, that can, like, deliver huge secondary market value and just has just big collectible appeal. There's Kyler Murray. Quarterbacks are always... Are always gonna are always gonna get theirs, but running backs too. But I'm hoping this is the year. Yeah, Mark, Mark both marks saying loaded, huge wide receiver class. Well, maybe that's that, that's a good sign. There's Isaiah Simmons for Clemson. That'll be for Kenneth. This could be the year of the wide receiver. Might take a minute or two for for some of these wide receivers to really emerge, but I'd like to see some some solid wide receivers gaining some good secondary market value. There's Jake Breland for Oregon. That's an Oregon Duck going to Scott. So that's one ninety nine. There's David Montgomery to forty nine. Lavisca, Chenault Jr. Yeah, Derek E. saying, I think Nick Jaspies mentioned this guy to me. He's like, that guy could be a good a good one. There's Colby Parkinson, Stanford. Stanford Cardinal, the color, going to Scott Goodman. There's Miko Hardman Jr., 99. And we got Jalen Hurts. Oklahoma, Mike Cody with the Sooners. Ah, there's Nick Jaspi right there. He's saying Justin Jefferson from LSU is going to be a great one. Mark N. was saying Jerry Judy, Ruggs, Ragor, C.D. Lamb. Hodgkins, Mark Matheson saying as well. So Mark M. There's Joe Burrow to 299. And Donovan Peoples Jones for Michigan. That's going to go to uh, Mark N. and the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, 
Raiders GM Mike Mike Mayock was saying uh, was saying there there is a bit of a history of of receivers being drafted in the first round who don't really reach that first round potential. So if the draft is this deep, I wonder if the Raiders are thinking, do they go like a number one receiver type of player if if they're able to get someone like Judy or maybe Lamb drops to them or something like that, one of those two guys? Or I wonder if they're going to find value in later rounds and they'll be like, we, we can live with that. It'll be interesting to see. What, drafts in about a month? Three, four weeks? Kelvin, you hope your Niners get Jerry? I, I don't think... I don't think Judy's gonna gonna drop that far, is he? I feel like he's gonna go in the top fifteen. Top half of the draft pretty easily. Yeah, most mock drafts have the Raiders taking a wide receiver. Yeah. That seems to be the obvious thing. But Mayock has mentioned that, but I don't know. I mean you can't trust a GM. And what they, what anyone from their staff says, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year. There's Rico Dowdle for South Carolina because it's all it's Jeremy Anderson with the Gamecocks. Oh right, I forgot about the Buckner trade. You guys have a thirteen. Right, well then, yeah, maybe maybe. Maybe a receiver there. There's Eckler to 149. And DJ Dallas. Uh, Miami. Bulldog fan. Will Comstock with the Hurricanes. Well, I think this might this could be a great... I mean, there's a lot of QBs in the draft, too. There's Tristan Jackson. Uh, that's Syracuse. That will be for Jeremy Anderson. There's DJ Shark. Just a different sort of snakeskin parallel, not numbered though. There's CD Lamb, we're just talking about him. And Jawan Johnson for Oregon. That duck is going to go to Scott Goodman. Nick Jaspi saying Chase Claypool from Notre Dame, Mims from Baylor, Jefferson from LSU, Higgins from Clemson, Lamb from Oklahoma, Ruggs from Bama, and Judy from... Judy in Oklahoma? I thought Judy... Alabama? Derek Henry. And Judy, according to Mel Kuyper, are all going to be going in the first... All going in the first round. Justin Herbert. Well, the point is, yeah, point is, a lot of wide receivers to collect this year, ladies and gentlemen, and wide receivers that will hopefully be make big impacts in the league. There's Scott Goodman with the Justin Herbert to 50. Think Herbert goes top six? Hey, that's good for that's hashtag good for the hobby, Mark. If we got all these like kind of sexy big play wide receivers and big armed quarterbacks going in the first round, that's hashtag good for the hobby. I love it. I want to wait till he's drafted in the first round, Justin Herbert. I mean, this guy could be a huge hit too. Maybe not as big as Justin Herbert. It's been a long week, Mark. Energy level is a little low today. Josh, it's been a long month. Joshua Kelly for the Bruins. Eric J. Uh, 
And the voice is killing me, so I can't really. I gotta try to save it for NT, maybe. Josh Jacobs, 249. CJ Henderson, 49. Kendrick Rogers, 92 out of 99. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Uh, that goes to Mike Cody and the Aggies. Know when to something, you better count your money. When you're sitting at the table. Leonard Fournette to 299. Grant Del Pitt, Patrick Queen. LSU. Uh, I was on this side of my list here. Darren Porter, the Porterhouse Steak. Cooper Cup to 49. Colin Johnson to 99. And Tyler Johnson to 2 out of 5 gold vinyl. It's like our third, third or fourth out of this case, I want to say. That's a uh, Minnesota Golden Gopher. Mark N. Now -o, with a 2 5. Right here. Mark. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Mark, uh, next time you're in L.A., maybe for some golf tournament or something, we should go to the Golden Gopher. I think that's still open, downtown L.A. There's Ruggs. There's LaVisca right here to 199. Buffalo! And that goes to Dan Tyson and the Colorado Buffaloes. All right, and there you go. And this this guy is your number one overall, right? Unless Cincinnati, like... So there you go. That Tom Brady poster is still here too, Mark. You can make an offer to the boss, man. All right, thanks, everyone. That was Four Box Random Team 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com uh, of 2020 Panini Prism Draft Picks Football, the future stars of the NFL right here. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.